Hi Stampers, Diane Demet here with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to teach you how to do a little candle stamping. It's actually very easy and I just want to show you a quick way to do it. This was what I did last week, um, but I'm just going to do a, a little different um, candle this time. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the bright and beautiful stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is a great set for Christmas or any time of year actually. It's got these great stars and some great verses, some little tiny Joy, Noel, and Shine stars So, or verses. So what you're going to do to do this is I start with, number one, I start with a cheap candle. You don't want to use a candle that's too nice or because it will melt too quickly and you'll end up with a puddle when you use your um, embossing gun on it. So I go ahead and I buy the cheapest candles I can find. Usually I just buy them um, white. I don't like the kind that are dipped with color because then I think that when you start to melt this, you'll it'll it'll show through. So I like to use either off-white or white when I do this candle stamping and so and some tissue paper. But what I do is I stamp on tissue paper to begin with and I'm going to go ahead with Versamark and I personally like to emboss my images on my candles because I think they stay sharper. Some people don't. Some people just prefer to go ahead and stamp directly onto um, with just your classic inks and that looks fine. It just depends on the look that you're looking for. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and I stamp that with Versamark and then I sprinkled it with silver embossing powder and you'll see where I get the star image on the tissue paper. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Now I use that piece of paper on purpose so that I can dump it all back into the jar and I just want to show you quickly what happens with that tissue paper. See that Versamark goes right through. So I'm going to move that out of the way for now. And then I'm going to come in with my heat gun. And you're going to go ahead and heat this and you don't want to, you want to be careful because it's tissue paper, it doesn't take very long and you don't want to burn yourself or you don't want to start the tissue paper on fire. So you just go ahead and start it and melt that embossing powder. And you can see, whoops, come back here. So I put it down here. You can see how quickly it melts on that tissue paper. Okay, once your image is embossed, now I could go and color on the background and that's what I did with this one. I embossed it in black and then I colored on the back, I flipped it over and I colored on the back of the tissue paper. And I could certainly do that with this, but I just actually like that silver star just as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it out with my scissors and I'm just kind of leaving a little bit of a border because what's going to happen is that's going to melt into my candle. And so I want it to have something that it can grab onto. Okay, so once you have that embossed, you're going to go ahead and just line it up where you want it on your candle. And I just kind of lay it on there. This might be a little more difficult with those points, but you want to make sure that it's laying flat as you do this. Um, and I usually start in the middle and work my way out to the edges. Um, and you have to go quickly and you don't want the heat set in one place for very long because what you're doing is you're melting that wax and this is actually getting embedded into the wax. So here we go, let's hope it works. There you have it. That's it. That's how quick it goes. And you can see it melted in there. You might have a few lumps and bumps, but you can take a warm spoon and just smooth them out if you like. I don't mind them. I kind of like the look of that. It just gives it a little more um, homemade look. But anyway, that's how quick it is to emboss a candle. And like I said, you can color behind the embossing if you choose to. I just choose to have embossing because I like the image to be sharp. If you just do your regular stamping, it's just going to be a little bit blurred, but it's still going to work. So there you have it. I'm going to go spend some time putting a little addition to this, some, some ribbon or something on it to make it jazz it up for Christmas. And I'll put it at the end of the video. Thank you and have a great day.
you haven't already done so, you might want to visit my website at www.ddstamps.com. Take care.